What's an aimbot? All right, guys, I've got a special video for you today. Something that I've never spoke about, something that I hold really dearly, and something that I'm proud of. This is gonna be my story into YouTube, how I started, what I've learned, and where I am today, basically. I think this video will be interesting to see, you know, a year from now, where where I'm at, you know, come back to the video and be like, I made that at 80,000 subscribers. And a year from now be like, wow, like crazy, the growth, not only numbers, but as a community, as a person, because as you guys know, I don't wanna just grow in numbers. I wanna build a community, something that we're all proud of something that you can be a part of. I, I, I just think that'll be really interesting to see. So this is gonna be my story. Uh, for anybody that's trying to grow your own channel, uh, there's gonna be tips and advice throughout the video. So if you're trying to grow your own channel, make sure you listen. Um, to anybody else that's just watching for the entertainment, you guys will, you guys will like it. Uh, I hope you find it inspirational in your own life, doing whatever you're doing, because this applies to everything. Uh, it might get a little rambly at times, because I'm doing this without no script, just straight from the heart, real authentic. This is my story. So, I play video games my entire life, blah, 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 whatever. Um, I started a YouTube channel and I was uploading RuneScape videos. Uh, they were very god awful. Uh, it was on a separate channel, completely irrelevant to what I'm doing now. Uh, this was years ago. I was like 14 or 15. Um, I was using my webcam to record SOCOM 2 videos on my PlayStation 2. Uh, again, God awful, blah blah blah, fast forward. I'm playing Destiny 1 and I meet Chicken Man through an LFG website and we're doing the raid together. Not only do I meet him, but I meet the slowest Buffalo, Kels Hydro, and friends that I play Destiny with that are, they're so dear to me, because they, they really push me to where I'm at today. Uh, we play Destiny, we're really good at it, and they encourage me to keep uploading these videos, which is on the channel, Back Off My Janks. I, all those old videos are still on my channel. Feel free to go back and look if you want to see how bad they are, where I started because they're god awful. The quality is everything about it, they're just like, they're bad. Um, but they encouraged me to keep going and I tried. I never got an audience in Destiny, which is, which sucks because I was actually really good at the game. I really wanted to get known in that community and that never happened. Uh, I move on to Call of Duty. Always been a big Call of Duty guy. I wanted to get known in that scene so bad. And again, no success in Call of Duty. Uh, at this point, I'm working full time. I'm an electrician. I'm going to the gym every single day, and then when I come home, I play for maybe an hour, and then I start up. Or I start like messing around with videos and stuff. So I'm having like sleepless nights. I'm barely playing the games, but I'm still trying to get known on YouTube. I'm addicted. I want this so badly. Uh, Overwatch releases. Play season one Overwatch, and I hate the game. It, to anybody that didn't play it in season one. Competitive in Season 1 was Arcade No Limits. No Limits was competitive, it was a joke. I hated it, it was bad. So I go back to Call of Duty and I continue my venture there. Uh, I did not play Season 2. Season 3, I catch the end of it because my friends convinced me to get back into it. And I, I just wasn't that into it at that point. I, I only played Hanzo and I it just wasn't that fun for me. Towards the end of Season 3, I started playing a little bit of Widowmaker and Quick Play and I did this. I hope that was play of the game. Witness me. I'm calling it. That has to be. Witness me. Uh, probably the other guy. Oh, I did a hey. thing. That's pretty good. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Don't tell me you did. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? I killed oh, that tracer you too. Waved, you waved first. You yeah. waved first. Yeah. As you can tell, I was pretty stoked. That was the first ever play of the game that I ever got as Widowmaker. I, I, I was so ecstatic. That was one of the first games I ever touched her. And I was like, you know what? I'm not too bad. So then I decided to, to record my first 10 hours of gameplay. And then I made my first montage. And it did really well. It did a few thousand views in a, in a couple weeks and I couldn't have been happier. I kept uploading a few videos and then almost exactly one month after that 10 hour montage, I uploaded a video that changed my channel forever. Now if I want to play Widowmaker, I'm not kidding you when I say every single game, somebody says something, 
it it's not an over exaggeration it happens all the time and I feel your guys is paying for any of you out there that play Widow or even Sombra or Hanzo whoever you like to play that's not you know according to statistics a part of the meta because it doesn't matter who you play you can be incredibly good with that character I'm sure the majority of you watching this right now have seen that video that unironically is my most hated video by me I hate it I hate that video so much but it has the most views out of any video I've ever uploaded onto this channel. And without that video, no matter how much I hate it, no matter how much I wish I could delete it, because I, I genuinely want to get rid of that video over any video on this channel. Without it, I wouldn't have a YouTube channel today. I know I wouldn't. The, the video that I made, I made out of anger. Like I said, at the time of me doing these videos, I only had about an hour a night to play. My schedule was just crazy, so like I couldn't be up all night. This was probably the third day in a row. This was match after match of people just constantly throwing and bickering at each other. People freaking out at me because I was playing Widowmaker, and I was just like, I just had enough. After that game, it, just, it literally tilted me beyond all tilt. I've never been that tilted before. And out of anger and frustration, I stayed up literally all night, and I made that video. And... You can tell that I'm angry in the video. You can tell that I'm upset and that all I wanted to do was play the game, get some footage, play Widowmaker, and upload it onto YouTube. And when you're playing game after game, when you have no time whatsoever, like, it was just such a waste of time. And I was so mad and frustrated. I make that video and I, some days I wish I didn't, but at the same time, without that video, I wouldn't have a YouTube channel today. After making that video, I'll never forget it. I was... An electrician, like I said, at, at the time I was an electrician, um, and I was uh, doing a job at our airport, and I woke up extra early in the morning, and my phone was going wild, and I had thousands and thousands and thousands of notifications. The video did like well over a hundred thousand views overnight, and for a channel that had no views, no nothing, to just overnight, boom, you have hundreds of thousands of views. I was I was up to like 4,000 or 5,000 subscribers overnight. I, I remember waking up and I was showing my mom and like my, my, my phone was barely working because it just kept going off. Like I, ne I had all my notifications turned on because when I got a comment I wanted to reply but I wasn't expecting to get hundreds of comments, thousands of subscribers. Like it was insane. Um, shortly after that I started making a lot of friends on the game. Uh, I met guys like Captain Stabham. Ah, uh, let the fun begin, my friends! Let us charge <laughs> them down! Oh my god! <laughs> we will destroy them! We will crush them! Ah, <laughs> uh, come here! Bend over! Touch your toes! I'll show you where my hammer goes! <laughs> and shortly after meeting Captain, I met other YouTuber friends that were similar size. Like, at the time, I only had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers because of that video blowing up. I met Crystal Rain. I met Creature, uh, who is incredibly successful nowadays. I met Skidoo. Like, I started meeting other people who were doing the same thing as me. And then I, st I did the Bronze to Grandmaster series that I started. This was season four. I started playing Widowmaker like heavily. And then I met this fine man. I, I love playing with you guys. I, love, I hate the guys who are like, we need two healers and we need two of this and we need two of that. It's like, no, we don't. We're in All you we need to do is play. have fun. And play the game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Let's invite dad. That was that was good. Wait, stop, cancel, 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 cancel. Invite the one to do the dad. dad jokes. Invite dad. Okay. Where is he? Where is he? Dad, there he is. Invite to go. That's the thing, you're you're cool and we actually had fun. You got you got some banter, some witty banter, dad jokes. <laughs> Your dad jokes maybe me want to kill myself. <laughs> we'll actually send you an invite. I'll actually send you an invite to Dank Squad. Okay. So can I be Dank Dad? <laughs> <laughs> Not to make it. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I kind of want to do it. It just sounds so... You'd have to make a new it account. It just sounds terrible, you know? It, just... <laughs> it sounds yeah, terrible, but cool, you know? Yes. <laughs> Your laugh is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's probably my most favorite video, one of them that I've uploaded on the channel. It's a shame that it didn't get as many views as it did because meeting Dad in that game was 
it was fantastic, honestly. Just it was such a breath of fresh air playing playing Overwatch and meeting somebody such kind-hearted. Like to this day, he still sends me a PSN message almost every single day with a funny dad joke. Like I love that man. I, he's so fantastic. And not only him, but there were so many others that I met too. There's just too many people to mention. It it's crazy how many people I met throughout this journey. I think that's a big reason why I am as successful as I am right now too, is because of the friendships that I've made. Uh, when I first started, I never wanted to make friends with established YouTubers. I wanted to make, kind of make my own circle and meet friends that were of similar size or even smaller. You know, I met friends like Soradot as an example when I first started and I genuinely believe that his, his content is awesome and I want to see him grow. And guys like Creature too, like when I first started, uh, I met Creature and we were both at like 5,000 subscribers and he's at like 150,000 now. So I think that's the way to do it. Like you want to meet other people, you want to network and you want to, you don't want to network in a way that it's kind of scummy. You don't want to network to benefit yourself. You want to network to make friends. Guys like Digital Next, who you may not know. Digital Next doesn't even make Overwatch videos anymore. He he makes reaction videos, and I think they're fantastic. And I genuinely like him as a person. That's a friend. I, I, if you're looking to make your own channel, network amongst yourselves. Grow a community, or be a part of a community where you can grow with each other. I That's a huge piece of advice that I can give you guys, that if you're trying to grow your channel, be honest, be real, build friendships, and don't look at it as a business. Look at it as a community, a circle, a friendship, and everybody involved is of the same level. You know what I mean? So with all of that said, from the bottom of my heart, I want to give you the most sincere thank you that I can. I, I know it's just words, it's just a, a thank you for you clicking on the videos. But, I mean, even just the likes and the comments, all the kind messages I get, it really does mean the world to me. To quit my job as an electrician, to do YouTube full-time, it's insane. I, uh, thank you so very much to each and every one of you. To all 80,000 of you that watch the videos, that like the videos, that comment. You know I never, I never ask. You guys just do it. <laughs> out of the kindness of your hearts like that's that's what I love thank you so much for allowing me to build this crazy community everybody is so kind to one another it's the most positive uplifting community that I have ever seen on YouTube we may not be the biggest but the sky is the limit it's just gonna keep getting bigger and I'm glad that I'm at the forefront of it and that every single one of you guys are are here with me I really do thank you. I love it. I love you. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you on the next one.